Hi there. This is a fine trappy line for black in the Rogozin Vienna variation of the Queen's Gambit and fine is the appropriate description as it was Reuven Fine who was one of the leading players to bring this line onto the international stage. The trap is called What Goes In the Rogozin and it's a Queen's Gambit declined after d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight f3 d5 we've reached a Queen's Gambit through a different sequence of moves. After Knight takes on c3, the Rogozin variation is characterized by Bishop b4 pin, usually against White's Bishop g5 pin. And the Vienna line is when Black captures d takes on c4, allowing e4. So let's see how that pans out. After d takes on c4, e4 is in fact played, Bishop b4 and Bishop g5. Well, Black's most aggressive and sharpest line is this move c5, hitting at the center, but allowing white to play e5, which is gonna be kicking at that knight on f6, that's already pinned. e5 is indeed played, but Black counters with c takes on d4, hitting the knight on c3. Well, queen a4 is a great line by white, check, and hitting the bishop. So everything is under fire here. Knight c6 interposes the check and defends the bishop at the same time. White here maintains pressure with castles, meaning that the rook is taking control of the d file and now the knight is immune from capture because d takes on c3 will lose the queen. So bishop d7 blocks the d file and reinstates black's intention to take the knight on c3. So the knight jumps to e4. If instead white would have played e takes on f6, then black could play g takes f6 and black will recover the piece, either the bishop on g5 or the knight on c3. So white's played knight e4 here. And now black realizes or knows in advance that the knight on f6 is dropping, but this is a sacrificial line. Now the bishop drops back to e7, offering up this knight on e6, but black is not without his own attacking chances. So after the bishop drops, bishop e7, e takes f6 is met by g takes f6, hitting the bishop, which will usually retreat here to h4. And now in this position, in the said game, Reuven Fine against Max Irvin, 1938, which was a testing ground for this variation, Fine played rook c8 with a very tight and complicated and competitive position. And another line here is a line played by Victor Korchnoi, but it's a terrible line. In fact, it's losing. Knight b4 looks tempting because it's unleashing the bishop on the queen. But white does extremely well after the queen sacrifice, queen takes on b4. Because now after bishop takes on b4, knight f6 is check with an incredible position here for white. After king f8, not knight takes on h7, rather rook takes on d4. White is completely dominating here. But if instead of rook c8 or corch noise line, knight b4, White tries the, black tries the fashionable a6. Well, that's going to be met now by queen taking on, on c4. Black will play e5. And it looks as if black now is threatening rook c8 and trouble for the queen along the c-file. Well, white's best choice here is actually knight takes on e5, giving back the piece. Or perhaps the little tested move queen back to e2 is possible. If instead rook b1, that's the, sorry, queen, king b1 I should say, getting the king off the c file, then black is close to winning now after bishop e6 gaining time on the queen, hitting a2 at the same time. And after the queen drops back to e2, then knight b4 with more pressure on a2. And if a3 to defend, now the queen comes into the game, queen, to d5 is decisive and that's going to be a mating attack or a winning attack at least for black. So this has been 
a trap in the Vienna Rogozin of the Queen's Gambit. It's called What Goes In, The Rogozin. Hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.